And so awesome, man. I think we should probably just dive in. I think everyone right now is, there's the speed of AI news, but there's the speed of AI apps that are coming out. And then there's the speed at which you can execute. And there's a pretty big gap between the speed of AI news, which seems to be like every single hour, yeah. the speed of new AI apps which is every day, but then you're making your app and it's still taking you a couple weeks, a couple months to get something out the door. I think yeah. a lot of builders just want to get things out in a matter of a couple hours or a couple of days. Yeah, that's right. So I think you had you had a list of a couple of questions, right? And that first one was was pretty good. What, what was it? Yeah, man, I want to walk through your origin story first. So uh, it's a little bit about, you know, I know you use cloud AI a lot in your process. So here's a question. Uh, tell me about the React component that made you go, holy shit, cloud can do this. Walk us through that moment for all of our friends. You know, this one deserves a demo in its own right. So I'm just going to start. All right. Oh, 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 hell yeah. Um, so, let's yeah, let, let's dive right into it. So what we see on the screen right now is you see one of the big themes right now is everyone is trying to ship a directory. And I wanted to just know, like, how fast would it be to ship one of these out? This oh, is yeah. entirely with Claude. And what I love about it is that I can come in here. Now, granted, like some things are missing, like I'm typing, you can't necessarily see that, but I've been in the industry for a while. And I know that when I was working in the industry, there would be a team of four people just trying to get this base level thing out the door. And they would probably spend two weeks, you know, talking about all the components that are required figuring out how to do all the spacing, getting the CSS just right. And I got this in 60 seconds. Right. And you didn't even use Figma. You went straight in and you built this. And the AI handled all of the UI componenting. It handled all of the CSS. Is that correct? Yeah, that's right. All I have to do now, now the thing is, is everything is just a matter of how well you can word things. And the dirty secret is that the more you know some of the key language in engineering, the more you can do some of this stuff. Like what you see on the screen, I know a lot of people when they're prompting with Claude, you know, they might spend hours and hours trying to get something that looks good. We got this, we did this five minutes before the call. We got this done within two shots. The first shot, we got everything we wanted. The second, the second shot, we're just trying to refine a couple of things. And that's ultimately where we see like where the challenges are. Like, it's like, okay, these are filters right here. I can't necessarily see them. Um, if I was to go back and I just wanted to make sure that I could fix this on the first try, I would just make sure that I would have accessibility as a main concern because this is technically an accessibility violation. We have text on the screen that can't be read. Now, a lot of people who are just beginning prompting, they wouldn't know that, but stay tuned all the way to the end because you're going to see the prompt template that can just zero shot a lot of this stuff for you. Um, and you'll be able to make stuff like this pretty much out of the box with Claude. And that's, that's absolutely crazy. You had me before this call walking through the workflow, and I want you to walk through everyone what your workflow actually looks like. So... You know, tell me, how do you use cloud actually to build something like this? And I want like the messiest version possible, like one like indie hacker, build in public type of guy is just going to go in and start doing this right after watching this podcast. Yeah. So here's the thing. Uh, in engineering, we always had this quote. Premature optimization is the root of all evil. And this is really important because. I'm going to show you Claude. This is Claude out of the box. All I said is make me Quora for nurses. And when we take a look at what we have right here, this is pretty good. I can upvote out of the box. Like this is, we zero shot this. And there was, there's no style. There's no system prompt here. This is not part of a project. I literally got this out of the box. Uh, 
and it just works, which is pretty amazing. So the first thing I'm always going to do is I'm going to start with what can I get out of the box? And usually what I'll also do is I keep the Claude app on my phone. And what I do is the second I have an idea, I start on my phone. And then like I can be midstream in a conversation, two minutes on a subway platform, and I have an idea. I need one, two, three, four, five words to get this whole thing. And this gets done in 60 seconds. So if I'm waiting, like if I'm waiting for the L train, I can, you know, I think like eight minutes, I could probably produce four apps in that amount of time. <laughs> um, well, that's crazy. Yeah, it was, it's it's really cool. So always start here and then once and then give it a little bit of space to breathe. And then, you know, and then the next thing I'm going to do is the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to compare it with using an actual style. So you're going to see at the bottom here, I have a bunch of styles. There's a bunch that come out of the box. There's normal, concise, explanatory, formal. But then I have some that I use for my personal uh, for my personal usage. Personally, what I like to do um, is AI is really great at making React components out of the box. Whenever I'm making a dummy page that doesn't have any complex state requirements, doesn't have any complex logic, I always go with React. In the event that I'm trying to keep track of things, if my application logic I know is going to be a little more complex, I'll use Vue instead. And rather than have good design, I'll have bare bones view. And the reason behind that is that, you know, this is a developer secret. React is not reactive. And what that means for computer programming is when I click these buttons, notice nothing is happening. So that would be a reactive behavior. I made a change and did this change get pushed? Now, of course, React does have its capability to do it. It's just that that capability comes at the cost of a lot of application complexity, which then causes a lot of errors, causes way too much downstream iteration, which is why I see a lot of people who they will start, they'll start with the prompt and then they'll end up prompting for 90 minutes, just trying to see how good the output they can get is. Whereas my shortcut is if I know it's like, if it's something that's dummy and I need to get it out fast out the door, I want to get it out in 10 minutes. I made this very special React Pro guide. I'll give everyone the template for this one just because like the the alpha for me is in so many other places, but I'll, I'll use this little thing right here. And what's unique and, you know, in a colors basis, if I'm just showing this to a random customer, you know, usually I think people are going to go with this because it has colors, it has, you know, better spacing. But for me personally, this nails the core of design, but this one nails landing with the application. And the reason why is we can even take a look here. You know, the specialty based filtering that is going to be available inside of here, and we see emergency nurses, ICU nurses, I know that that is going to get the attention. That speaks the language of the customer. Whenever you can speak the language of the customer, you speed up the deal cycle. The same way that you can do few shot prompting or zero shot prompting. For my personal relationships and for my business meetings, I want to see, can I zero shot a business meeting? I don't want a sales cycle to take 37 days if I think it can take 21 days if I'm just prepared or I speak better language, 